Hi, I'm Maya from the Permaculture Education Institute and also from Permuth. And this is one of the last um, Plastic Free July videos. So today I'm going to be talking about bins. So um, one of my friends, Eleni, who lives in Crystal Waters Eco Village as well, she has this thing that she does every time she puts something in a bin. So you ask yourself, can I um, reuse, repair or recycle this? And then you ask yourself, can I turn this into something else? Um, can I live without this? And is it necessary? And if you can't answer any of these questions, then it goes in the bin. But this is just a good way of filtering out things that you should and should not put in bins. So also another thing you can do is not use bin liners, because most of the time you don't really need them unless there's something sloppy in there, which you can just either put it in your garden, in the compost, a bakashi bin, or just wrap it up in paper and put it in the bin if you really don't want to put it outside. Um, and then after that, you just put it in a big bin and then take it down to your bin. If you really do need to use a bin liner, then you can use um, compostable bin liners, but don't use degradable ones because they just break down into tiny little microplastics. Microplastics are really bad for the environment because when they get washed into the ocean, they can accumulate in marine animals and then uh, subsequently end up in us when we eat them. So it's best not to use degradable bin liners. So when you are going to put something in the bin, just remember to ask those questions and also think about whether you really needed it in the first place and whether next time you go out shopping you could not buy it. And also think about how you're dealing with the rubbish from your household. So remember there's only a few days left of Plastic Free July and come back tomorrow for another tip about how to reduce your plastic consumption.